Today we're going to look at what might be the holy grail for consistent characters. Not only does it work for characters, but it matches the entire visual style of the images that you're feeding it. You'll learn to train AI image models in general. Let's get started. What you're seeing are images of the same character in different poses and settings created with EverArk. You can give it a bunch of images of your character or style to train it, and it's going to learn how to give you more images in the same style right back. You can see here I'm doing just basic prompts, and it knows to take the style and interpret it into different settings, times of day, and even characters. It's even so good that it can interpret what a younger version of a character might look like. So even if the images of a character you're feeding it are quite perfect, as long as they're stylistically similar, it can blend them together and figure out something consistent for you. Before we really get into it though, you should know EverArt isn't the only tool that can do this. Among many options, you can use Leonardo AI and do it for free. So if you go to training and data sets there, you can upload 15 or so images and create a model. And once you select that model, you can now prompt and it'll copy that style going forward in your images. Runway also has an image training feature, which you can train on character styles and objects. And likewise, upload about 15 or so images and it'll be able to replicate the characters and styles from it. But honestly, I find that EverArt's results are the best of any of these tools I've gotten so far. They are not a sponsor, so I just recommend requesting access on their website as soon as you can. The lessons today are gonna to cover how to get consistency with any image training tool. So let's get into what you need to do to get as many images as possible that really fit the same style and character. This part is totally optional, but I typically use a GPT I made called the AI Filmmaking Assistant, and this is just to help me speed up in getting good mid-journey prompts. There's a link in the description. You just tell it what you want to do for the story, and it's going to give you recommendations for it, some concept art, and then give you mid-journey prompts that you can just copy and paste right into mid-journey. And if you paste these props into mid-journey, you move very quickly. So for our training images, I'm going to create a character that will be the basis for the entire style here. And it'll be a boy hand-drawn Japanese animation. I want the inside of his house in here because the background gives a lot of objects and architecture that'll give Everard good reference points for the style. I'm going to choose AR16 to 9 at the end to make it widescreen. And I like this one at the top right. So what I'm going to do is click U2 to upscale the second picture. And after that loads, I can click very subtle and it's going to give me slightly different images of the same character. I have remix mode turned on so you see this mode will pop up where I can actually change the prompt if I want while I'm at it. But now I have five images of the same character for the training data that can add slight differences to the character and setting but keep the core the exact same. Another thing I can do is zoom out on the original image and with the zoomed out image, the AI model has more to train on for how the food and household items look, and my character doesn't change at all. As we're going to see later, zooming out is actually pretty critical for just getting a mix of long shots and close-ups of your character, so you can get full body parts versus more detail on something like their face. I'm going to go back to the first image now though and click and right click again so I can copy the image address. Whenever I paste that address into the start of my prompt, those prompts will try and replicate that image in some way. So first I'll do this and write in multiple angles into my new prompt to try and get more angles of the same character's face. I get much more in depth on this one in another video. If you haven't seen it, you might want to open that in another tab. It's going to walk you through how to separate out many angles of the same character into their own shots. But I'm not going to spend more time on that in this video. But something I do want to show you is that if there's an image you like but one detail ruins it, you can bring that to Canva or Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I'll show you what I can do here. I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool, select the area of the image that I want to change, and then choose generative fill. After I describe how I want to replace it in this little prompt in the generative fill section, it'll give me three options to choose from to replace that section of the image. And now I have an image that I fully like. So I also want to get some images of the mom, dad, maybe an establishing shot of the house and really build up the world here so it's not just the one character. And in my case, I want these characters to really resemble the initial image and the style that I had. So what I can do there is in my prompts for the mom or the dad, copy the image address of the images that I like and paste them into the prompt and then set a very low image weight. So if you type in dash dash IW 0.5, it's going to tell Midjourney to treat it as a reference for the style, 
but not try and match the image itself too hard. So it's not gonna look like a little boy. It's still gonna look like what your prompt said, but copy some style elements. So I'll do the same thing and get an establishing shot of the house. If there's something in that shot that I don't like, last time I showed you Photoshop, you can also bring into Canva and use the magic eraser tool and just remove parts of the image that you don't want. So before we get into training a data set, let's recap how we're getting good training data in the first place. So one, using very subtle. Two, zooming out and getting close-ups and long shots of the same characters and settings. Three, asking for a prompt with multiple angles or a character sheet and erasing down to one character at a time. Four, copying and pasting the image addresses into new prompts with the low image weight that just replicates the style and five, using Canva and Photoshop to touch up our images. An honorable mention here is Midjourney Style Tuner, but this tends to have more unwanted variability, so I tend not to use this. If you want to try it out though, type backslash tune, enter a prompt, and wait for the Style Tuner settings to show up. Once you have a link, you repeatedly choose between images that come close to the style in your mind until Midjourney gets a sense of your desired style. When you're done telling your preferences, you copy the code and write dash dash style followed by pasting that code link. Anytime you use that parameter, your prompts will use the train style. So let's close out by uploading the images you saw me working with today and seeing how the model works. Now that I've given it a minute to train, I'm gonna choose the aspect ratio I want and enter a prompt. Simple prompts work very well because it no longer needs your prompt to cover the visual style. Sometimes it'll stick to the same colors you originally gave it though, so either be specific about colors in your prompt or give it more variety in your training images. As you can see though, it gives me lots of variety of ages, and even though it never had any training data on multiple ages, it still knew how to do that. You can prompt for settings you've never even trained it on and even mix characters together. The links can also be copied and entered back into Midjourney for further prompts. I used this tool to land a paid commercial for a large company recently, where I could give them a consistent narrative the whole way through due to the consistent characters. So check out Everart, sign up at therealrobot.com as well for my upcoming AI animation course, and thank you for watching.